The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Kevin Hinks, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow up 12, Nasdaq's flat, S&Ps are down 2, gold's off $5. We have uh, silver flat at 1432, bonds, the 10 year down four ticks, 126.14. The 30 is off 11 at 155.23. King dollar. King dollar's off uh, 329 at 9804. Uh, of course, we're coming into the holiday week. We get our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, with us. And don't forget, folks, Mondays, Tuesdays, right here, noon to 1 Eastern Standard Time. TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, does an outstanding option program. Kevin, Scott, Cindy, uh, you can get it right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi, anywhere in this beautiful world of us. Uh, if you want to get the charts, which, you know, as long as you're not driving, folks, okay, go to tfnn.com and hit Tiger TV. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Good morning, guys. Good morning, Tom and Tommy. How, How you doing? doing? I'll tell you, you know, uh, coming into a holiday week, of course, uh, things are going to slow down here. You know, when you were in the pit, Kevin, right, what, what was it like in the pit during holiday week? Was it the same type of deal? Or can you guys push this around? What did you guys do? Whether, you know, Tom, there was two type of traders, right? Yeah. As, as you get into the holidays, markets get a little slower, they get a little thinner, yes. they get a little whippier, and either you're good at that type of trading or you're not. You know, participants start dropping off for the holidays, as you would think, right, right in any business. So either you were good at playing those little thinner moves where it's, a you know, you got to be a little smarter, you got to be a little more you know, close to perfect on these, but you can make money in these markets if, if you're trading these small, whippy moves and don't get caught too bad. But yeah. there's money to be made, but a lot of guys drop off. That's important. You know, no, I know. They're just taking time with their families and they're out. So yeah. you're getting less eyes on the market. Which, which, which is cool, because they are whippy moves, man. Yeah. You, yeah. you see that S&P move the last 45 minutes last, yesterday? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seven days in a row, Tom, hundred, you know, three-digit moves in the market. Yeah. Seven day, tra straight days. Yeah. That's pretty, it's pretty amazing. It is. You know, it's, yeah. you know, depending, you know, folks, and I'm not suggesting that you go out there and day trade options, okay, at all. Um, but, 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 but well, well, it happens where I was and be, behind the machine as I always am. Um, the moves there, yes, they were insane because what what does happen when it's the cues of the spies? They're they're penny wide, yeah. you know. So and it's not even yesterday. It's every, I mean, how many no, days afterwards that, have no, we it, said like, it, my God, I could, you know? Did you see? The ones that expired in the money, and you know. Yes. Yeah. No. Th there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Yeah. It's it's. Pr it, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it's it's gonna be like this morning. I was looking. You know, it was wild, Kevin. Yesterday is that I was watching the. I, I watched the the DAX and the FTSE quite a bit. You know, and the DAX is getting smoked, man. And you know, I was expecting that our markets it, it would pull back, and of course it just went the other way. I'm telling you, Tom. I really thought. Sunday night in the futures and Monday morning where you were going to get a chance to buy them lower. Oh, yeah, because really of Friday. That, so no. I was yeah. very impressed with, with how we at least held our own yesterday. Yeah. And then, you know, late morning, they hit them pretty hard. Yes. They, they tried to. They took them negative for the day, and then they kind of took a punch and stayed there. I was, I was actually quite impressed. Yeah. So, um, you know, what are we going to be talking about today? Today we're going to be talking about direction. Okay. And the use of delta in direction trading. Nice. And how you can, you know, choosing the, the spread you're going to put on, you can choose to make it more bullish, more bearish by the strikes you select and the delta you choose for that spread. And how to, how to think about that as you get your strategy. A little visualization and things like that. Combining delta and direction is what we're going to do today. Nice. You know, after you were on yesterday morning, um, Tommy and I were talking about that, how visual 
you know, options are too. I mean, well, I don't know if we felt that they were. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, that, I, that, I absolutely believe they are. Yeah, that, that's really cool, folks. If you haven't seen the Think or Swim platform, you know, when Kevin Scott and Cindy are on, the platform is right up. Um, and it, it makes a, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, no, I was saying, Kevin, you guys were talking about your goalposts, right? And then you know, just the the visual aspect of a of a, of a graph and a chart to me, you know, especially when you start seeing multi-leg option strategies, it right. just makes it a lot That's easier. That's right. Seeing and Tommy, think about this: as your position gets bigger, as you become, you know. If you move from a beginning option trader to an intermediate to an advanced, you're going to have a, a, a profit graph that's going to have several positions in it. Maybe, yeah. maybe you're trading something, you know, like Apple, and maybe you've got eight different strategies on, right? And you can see them all together visually, right? Or no. you can see each one individual. Sure. It is. That's, that's wild, man. I want to see something so like that. So <laughs> and, that's, and that's the beauty of it. Totally. And that's, the, that's how the visual part of it. I, when I was trading GE, when I was the specialist in GE, yeah. I was always painting a picture of what my graph would be based on nice. the stock movement. Right. It makes and sense. I, was, I could yeah. look at the graph after years so, and say, okay, here's what I need to do based on that graph. Your how brain cool just. Is I think that? Your, your brain just understands visually a lot easier when you see that. It might, just where it might, everything is. Yes. And, yeah. I, and I've always said, I say it all the time in our show, you give me the options statistics page on the Thinkorswim platform, and then you give me the analyze tab that analyzes and visualizes it, yeah. that's all I need to trade. I'm I know, good to man. Go. I, yeah, I heard you saying that yesterday. Yeah, I did. No, it, was, it was awesome. Totally. No, totally. It may, yeah, totally. Because, folks, it, you know, First off, we appreciate you being out here listening to us. But if you haven't listened to, to Kevin, Scott, and Cindy, you have to listen to them because what ends up happening, depending on where you are on the curve of trading, when I'm listening to you, I, I start laughing and I start talking to myself. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> because it's, it's normal for a trader. I think it's normal for I mean, because, you know, I say, oh, yeah, I see this and that. And you know what I mean? Yeah. And you, cause, cause you're talking out the question. I am. Yeah. I'm talking it out the yin yeah. and the yang. And yeah. it, you know what I mean? And, and They're complicated enough that they, sometimes you have to talk it out to, to yeah, keep track of everything there, going on. There's no doubt. Yeah. There's no doubt. And that's, you know. I mean, the first OEX I did, I mean, that's so many, 20 years ago, I think. And I still have to talk it out. Right. You know, hey, it, Tom, you know me long enough now that you know there's a lot of voices in my head. So <laughs> I'm listening that, to a lot of voices. So they're all telling me sometimes different things. It's cool, though, right? I mean, that, that's oh, important. I, believe me, for sure. I, I, I love to, you know, I, I love to get up in the morning and figure out what's going to make something happened today yeah. yeah the best part of this business yeah there's no doubt well, it's it, fun analyzing it when you have all that information in front of it you. it is because then you really get to make when the, it starts right, to make sense right you, you know it, it really gets fun yeah. absolutely you know it's you know it's wild and you know I, folks this is this is this totally makes sense but it's when you all when you all when you are on the right side of the trade, it's like everything's so easy. It's like why can't it be always this easy, right? That's you know exactly I mean? right. Isn't it funny? I mean, it's just like it's like wow, you know. And and, and, we, and we address that too, Tom. We talk about you know sometimes the real the best money that you make is the money that you save when you're wrong. No, oh, that's a fact. Man. Yeah, you know that's, that's the real money. Yep. When you're right, when you get it right, and you and you just sit there and let it happen, that's easy. Yep. Right when, yeah. but when the money you save when you're wrong is that that's that's earned money for sure. And and what you'll find, and this is really cool, folks. What you'll find, and won't happen every time, but it'll happen quite a bit. If you got you're wrong, you close that trade. You'd be really surprised how fast you can get that money back. And sometimes it just blows your mind. And say, yeah. oh, why haven't I done that all the time? No, because sure. it can be very quick. And say, wow, that that was quick. Yeah. You know. Oh, that, I have I have told a lot of young traders in my career. Lock it, lock in your loss, and get back in there. Yeah, right. Right. I, I Define, know. The, take care of your problem. Lock in your loss, and then go trade yep. as much as you can. Yeah. And you'd be surprised how quick you can get that back. It yeah. is. It's crazy, yeah. man. That, that's discipline. Yeah, no doubt, man. And, and it's a it, it immediately have a different head too. You know what I mean? That's right. You're not it, defending it something you that you already did. Right. Yeah. That's exactly right, Tom. Yeah. It really frees you up to get back in there. It does. Well, listen, man, we appreciate uh, you guys uh, and ladies who are growling a problem with us out here. We can't wait for the program, 12 noon today. And, uh, you know, bottom line, we're going to get our head wrapped around that program. So it's tfnn.mobi, folks, on your cell phone, tfnn.com on your cell. Have yeah, we're going to talk about Nike today, too. Nike oh. after the bell. Yeah, the right. earnings. Right? Oh, that's yep, a big we're one. We're going to take a hard look at Nike today. Okay, man. I like that. Let's, oh. 
we'll, we'll see we'll see how to capitalize on potential I, earnings. Right? I can't That's wait. Right. Yeah, like and it. and Nike has movement, man. <laughs> yeah, they're already starting to, to whisper that that they're going to beat. I mean, yeah. the, the expected move right now it's in up Nike half a percent in the day. Yeah, almost. it's, it's yeah. Uh, hold on, let me pull it up. They expect to move on Nike right now. They're looking for the options are saying it's going to move six bucks, over six bucks. And right now you're up <laughs> 73 cents. And, folks, you know what's so cool? If, if you listen to these guys every day, um, you had brought this up a couple weeks ago, Kevin, that I forgot what type of strategy you were doing, but you, would, you, you guys were talking about that if you're doing that type of strategy and the earnings that come out, you want to wait till like 2 in the afternoon. Okay. Right, timing. Yeah. Exactly right. When yeah. you're making an earnings play like we're talking about, the time because you want to sell the top volatility. Yeah, isn't that and cool, let that man? Move, get yeah. the options get to the widest and then do a risk-defined strategy and, you know, and, and let, let that volatility come right back down. Yeah, that, that was it, man. I, I, when I was listening to that, I said, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I'm going to watch that this afternoon, man. That, yeah. that is so cool. That is unbelievable. Okay, man. Well, listen, you have a great day, a safe day, and, of course, we look forward to um, listening to you in a couple hours, man. Looking forward to it, Tom and Tommy. Have a good day, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Too. Have a great Thanks. show, man. Take care. Bye -bye. Great one. Have a safe one. So isn't that intriguing how they, after 2 o'clock, well, it, it, it's in sure. the build, it, it, sure. it, it keeps so getting higher. Were they taking premium there? They were taking premium. That makes sense. They, they, sure. were, look, they were looking to take premium. Sure. And the, so sure. they expect the move is $6 right now. So we'll watch what it was so it going up to 2 o'clock. That's a big move in $130 It, it is a big move. Yeah. It is a big 5%. move. 5%. Yeah, no doubt. And if we, uh, and it seems like um, inside the clothing business, it seems like Nike's the only one that's still printing I, money. When I, I was listening to CNBC, I heard they were coming out with earnings after the bell, and I just said, in my head, I was just like, Nike's just been doing well, I feel like. like it is. They're, they're always they, doing well. Like, And their stuff is so expensive. Yeah, right. I, I just literally yeah, I was like, everything's I, I bet they're going right? to do fine. No, I know. Based off nothing, but just your perception, right? Totally. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow is up 14. NASDAQ is up 2. S&Ps are down a buck and a half. We're going to break back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. 
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, you got the Dow up 37, Nasdaq's up 11. Uh, S&P's are up two, and uh, if we go over and we take a look at uh, what's moving the market, uh, not that the market's moving <laughs> that much, uh, inside the uh, Dow Industrials, what you have, inside the Dow, the uh, movers out there, you got Caterpillar, which uh, that's definitely a dead cat. That's been going down forever. That's up $2. Intel is not bad. That's up $0.40. Cents. United Technologies is up 93 and Walmart is up 54 uh, uh, taken away from on the way down is you get United Health down 88, Merck is down 27, Apple is off 40, and GE is down 12. And if we do go back to Apple, uh, I do apologize, folks, because yesterday, <laughs> that's right. Uh, yesterday, I had said when we were talking about Apple, I, I, I had said that Tim Cook had said that he never met anyone that liked uh, Steve Jobs, uh, but what he had said is that he never met anyone like Steve Jobs. You know, I thought that was so weird, man. I'm saying, wow. Yeah, right. this is you seem pretty good. <laughs> I did. You should, add, you should have added you thought it seemed so weird. Then that's weird. No. Well, no, I, I think I said that yesterday. Yeah, no, that, yeah, yeah. that it I was hear. like, oh, my God. You know, I and I, I correlated I it to the, to the movie. You know, and I didn't see the movie, but the movie was supposedly, you know. It's just a but, really but strong anyway, statement. But anyway, it, it yeah. makes a lot more sense, man. It, it totally makes a lot more sense. how it goes. It makes yeah, a lot more slightly. sense. slightly. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so let, let's go take a look at Apple because Apple still, well, here, w watch this inside the NDX. Now, this is going to get intriguing. Inside the NDX right now today, um, AFCO Technology, which is, you know, an Apple supplier that's down okay. a buck 89. Skyworks, Apple supplier, down a buck. Now, what has happened, though, is that if we go look at AFCO for a second, um, they, when they come out with their last numbers, they're servicing a lot more than Apple now, too. Okay. That's, that, that gap higher, do you know what I mean? Was like, okay. okay, that's what they're doing. But that's something to keep your eye on, for yes. sure. Yes. Um, yes. Now, now, if we go over to Apple, and we do take a look at Apple, um, this is still having a hard time catching a bid, you know? Um, you know, it, it got down to uh, 105.57 yesterday, uh, rejected that price, you know? And we'll see. W with the danger is that Apple is that once it got into the bar, from the 28th, the week of the t August 28th, that's where the problem comes in. You're deep into that bar now. You're seven points into that bar. The top of that bar was 113. You know, it, it had run up to 123, you know, dramatically lighter volume, 195 million shares going against 385 million. <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's a supply line. Look at that supply line right there. Yeah. That's, that's a, the supply line we're looking at, if you're in your car, folks, is that the last six months, Apple had a high of 134. That high was generated in May, and you know then it went sideways, and right where ice would be generated, the top of that is 127, and on a weekly, the low is 112. It had 385 million, it comes back up to that level, and has 195. 
and then it comes off it with 216. Not that that's a huge amount. Last week was a huge amount, though. That's a big week. Yeah, last week was a big week. There's no doubt about that. And, um, you know, so Thursday is 1 o'clock. It is. And for all general purposes, I would say that uh, as of tomorrow at noon. <laughs> Pretty close, right? right? Don't yeah. you think? Do you know what I mean? Because. I do. What does happen, folks, at Today, there could be a little bit of action. It's possible. It's only Tuesday, and Christmas is Friday, so I, that's possible. Right. No, it's like, yeah, once I, you get into the second part of even Wednesday, that, yeah, exactly. You're, I making, think, you're making plans. You're checking things off your list. You're, you're filling up the car with gas. You're, you, you've got to get yeah, everything done. Exactly. Right. Got to get your bathing suit, get your shots on. Bathing suit. We're living in Florida, that's for sure. You but it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be in Boston, they're going to reach almost 70 degrees the day before Christmas. And on Christmas, I think it might be a high of 63. Um, that's some, 63. Lovely, some lovely Christmas Day weather. Last year, I think it was snowing. That's amazing. So in that, in that, let's go over to that natural gas contract. <laughs> uh, you know, that had a pop yesterday. Uh, pulling back today. It's not. I wouldn't yeah. buy it just yet, but this thing is setting up pretty good. That was um, a big pop yesterday. Big pop. And I think a setup down... Like at 182 or at 189 right now would be pretty cool, as long as it come down in sure, light volume, sure, you sure, know. Because yep. when we did, excuse me, when we were looking at it yesterday, it was up there at 193, and that's that's a monster move. Monster move. Well, it's it's hot. Oh, I agree. Yeah. No, you I know, agree. You, you I was what? saying yesterday. I mean, that was that was a. You, anytime you just in, we go back to visually, right? Right. It's like whether we're talking about swim lessons, what they do. Just looking at the chart, it's like that sticks out. Yes. That's it. That's all. So that's, that's big. You know, that's that it. sticks out. When you pull it back and you're looking at daily, sometimes yep. it's like boom. It's like well, that means something. If it's if it's a, a mark on the chart, that just jumps out. Yeah. Good quote. A mark on the chart. I like that. Dow right now is up 50. Nasdaq's up 14. S and P's are up two and a half. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. It's true. Life is all about choices. At EverBank, they're making it easy for you to make a smart one with this special cash offer. Open a new yield pledge money market account with funds from another financial institution or deposit new funds into an existing yield pledge money market account and you could earn up to a $500 cash reward. And if you're opening a new account, you'll also get their new higher six-month bonus interest rate along with their yield pledge promise that ensures your yield will always be in the top 5% of competitive accounts at banks nationwide. Open a new account or add to one. It's your choice. To qualify, you must meet balance and other limited time offer requirements. Go to everbank.com forward slash TFNN for details and deposit options or speak with one of their banking specialists at 1-855-750-4051 for more information. You must act by December 31st, 2015 to be eligible. EverBank is a member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
with TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up uh, 30, Nasdaq's up 10, S&P's uh, flat out here, and uh, gold's down uh, 540. Let's go look at that gold market. The, uh, when the, so the GDP came out, and uh, when that came out, it was really, they, they whacked gold by $5. So the, it was, uh, I think they revised it from uh, 2.1 to 2. To 2, yeah. yeah. Um, and I thought it was intriguing that they didn't whack the market, but they whacked gold. That first little blurb down, but it's it's gonna hold. That's what it, that's what it's looking like. Yes. Um, you know, I was trying to figure out even fundamentally though. Okay, so the the GDP the GDP's been having a hard time getting up getting above two period. Uh, but why would they whack gold? Well, not, not you know. But I was thinking. Yeah, of, no, you know, I, I, in the aspect of okay, yeah. what does that mean? Well, right. it would it would seem that if it's down. You'd have to put more money into it, so there'd be more money floating around. Yeah. yeah. But what we what we absolutely have right now is that there's divergence in these markets in a huge way, and I guess the biggest one is the bond market. I heard a stat yesterday that when the Federal Reserve had raised, I don't know if it was a lot, yeah, the last few times that the dollar popped in the first month, and then after that it floated lower. Okay. Yeah. So it, that's going to be intriguing. Just hunting that down to see, okay, why? You know what I mean? And that's always interesting because there's so many variables in the foreign exchange market in there terms is. of like when when was that? And I agree, right. that's great information to right. know too. You right. know, that's what we talk about. You want to have all the information, you get right. tying it back to swim lessons, right? right? It's great because you just need all the information. That's exactly. one piece of it for sure. Right. But then what else was going on in just the world right. when that was happening, right? It's like you have China coming into the, um, the, the, that probably wasn't as big of a deal, so that affects things. Um, the Chinese economy right now is that, you know, yeah. so there's just everything that goes with what we're doing. There's no Especially doubt. Especially how separate Europe is right now from where we are. Oof. I mean, we're trying to come out of 0% and, and they're really putting the pedal to the metal trying to do some stimulus. I know. You know, which is... And the thing is wild, folks, is that, you know, let's, let's say, you know, if we go over and we just look at the Canadian dollar. So the Canadian dollar is at, oh my God, it's almost 140. It's 139.36, so it's 139. That is like pretty intense. Um, you know, if we bring that back, let's just bring this back because, you know, I think that's when, yeah, so, yeah, when we started the gold report, look at that. Though. We started the gold report, it was 160 dollars. And when oh you came God. out with one of your books, it had some, it had the U.S. and then the Canadian price. And then I remember that's that it right. basically came back to par. It and did. Now they're probably where that old book is going to have I, it, a, equivalent pricing again. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. And that, you know, what, what it has done. It's definitely hitting Canadians, folks, that are coming down to Florida. Um, so picture, which there are many. Which there are many. So, yeah. so picture in the winter, you know, some of the short-term places we have, uh, like four thousand a month. For a Canadian right now, that's fifty-two hundred a month. 
That's right. that's intense. Right. You know, um, that there's no They're doubt equivalent. about that. They're equivalent. They're equivalent. Right. 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 For their now, the, the other side of that is that there's a lot of Canadians that had come down here and bought property when the market crashed because that's when it was dollar a dollar sure. one to a dollar. Sure. Those guys and women were scored beyond belief. Yes. Because if they bring that money back right now, like yeah, I, I think you know Vasco and Pembe, that the ones that you know, own the salon. Okay. Yes. Okay. They just sold their house. And, and Bel Air, and they, you know, sold it for big money, but they get 30% more money, because I had said to him, I says, wow, man, you know, uh, you've moved that thing out nice. He says, yeah, he says, but something to keep your head wrapped around. I'm getting 30, he, they've been living up there for a year again. They went back to Vancouver. Okay. So now they feel like they're really scored, though. Sure, you yes. Know? And so you can see how that works. Yes, That's definitely. huge money. Man. Of course, for you sure. Know? But it's all relative, I guess, because everything's more expensive up there, too. But it's, you know, it's, it's going to be like, okay, so where does this really go? Because South America, in South America, the pesos got killed. Um, you know, whether it's Argentina, whether it's Colombia. Well, just, the dollar's real strong regardless, so everything in comparison. Yeah. You know, no matter right. what you're looking at, if you're talking dollars. Yeah, I know. pretty good shape. It's pretty wild, man. Yeah. It's time to go on vacation. It's time to have a, a tiger... Uh, get together somewhere in South America, I think. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, it no, matters. It it's does. A real it, deal. it does matter. So let's take a look at some of the uh, higher volume stocks in this low volume market. Oh, Sun Edison's getting killed. Uh, that's down a dollar sixty six, and it's only a five dollar stock. NetApps is down a buck sixty four. You got uh, let's see, Ford Motor Company's up thirty seven cents. You know what's amazing is that when you look at the number of cars that are being sold yes. are like yeah, over all, the top. All-time highs. All-time highs. They were talking about that on CNBC, too. Were you yeah. seeing that this morning? I think I, it was. I, yeah. And, you know, they still have, well, I guess it's Ford's as, as highs. It were $14. You could bring it back. I hear you, though. It's just been skipping along since, yeah. since really. Let me bring it back 20 years. Oh, no. Yeah, look at that, man. It's like, why, why can't? So that the Ford was $65 in 1999. And it hasn't been able to get over this uh, $17 going all the way back to 2000 That's pretty wild, huh? Yes. It's, it's, it's interesting to look at the car companies, too. I can imagine the board meetings they're having trying to... How do you, how do you try and plan for these types of gas prices almost going into things? That's what I was thinking yeah. about in terms of, you know, everybody right. wants bigger cars, or at least they can open that back up to maybe purchasing them again. Oh, no doubt. Um, it's SUVs. Interesting to, you know, if I didn't have as long as a commute, I would probably be thinking about it more than I am right now because gas is not that big of a deal if you're not driving a lot. Right. Especially right now. Right. No, it's... And we're SUVs. Well, last time this happened, SUVs exploded, you know, and that was... Yeah. So... And evidently it's happening again. Right, exactly. Yeah. And I don't blame people because, you know, if you're not driving an obscene amount of miles, right. then we're at low prices. And even if they go up a dollar, we're still talking about like 285 which is... And it's safe. standard. Right. They, you know, they seem safe. When, sure. I, when I look, when I look at family, the, something like yeah, that. Yeah, when I look sure. at the context of how many cars are on the road, and what happens, folks, in Florida, it's, it's, I guess if you grew up in Florida, that's all you'd know. But if you didn't grow up in Florida, we have these roads, and Tommy and I have talked about it yeah. many times, that you can go 60 miles an hour. And they have roads that are crossing. Well, they're like red light ro roads. Red light roads. Yeah. At 60, Instead of highways, at 55 you have a lot hour. more roads in Florida that right. are just built up as between 45 to 50 mile per an hour with red lights built in. And, right. You know, I've been in one bad accident just sitting at a red light where what happened? The guy just kind of spaced out, I think. Yeah. Didn't realize it was a red light. Goes through it like 20 seconds late. Right. And that's because, you know, when you're driving highway speeds, it's real easy just to get some tunnel vision. And before you know it, you're blowing through a red light with traffic going literally. Right. right in front of you. Right. Um, and I think there's just more opportunities for that in Florida. Yeah. That's my perception. Oh, no, I don't no. know what, but you know, there might be everyone state, doesn't but travel as much, and I'm just compared to Boston. Yeah, right? it That's doesn't, a, yeah. Because when you get on. From Boston, we have the highways. You right. know, the closest thing might be a Route 9. That's right. that type that of be, deal where you, you are running deal. into lights, but right. those roads exist everywhere down here. That's the difference. Right. right. So in a Route 9, you're. Yeah, that's one big one, road that one road. used to. Right. Right. That's right. a common place here, for sure. Yeah. And they, they, it, 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 there's, there are lights on Route 9, but not like down here. Right, where well, they're yeah. everywhere. Where well, they're everywhere, there's yeah. no doubt. Yeah. Cars in Boston and cars in Florida. Yeah, everywhere. totally. Cars. And the, and, the, and the market's building cars right now to go to Lowell. <laughs> yes, it's go. getting its big bear suit on. <laughs> this is, you know, so next week is going to be kind of like the same type of deal, I think. It's going to be identical. Yeah. yeah. 
And when uh -huh. you really combine the fact that we have back-to-back -back three day weekends with almost a four day weekend this week with yes. one o'clock closing. Yes. I mean, that's... And, we, well, you know, next weekend, folks, uh, coming into the New Year's, it is a full day, but guess what? It's not even close. Yeah. You know, I, I don't even know why they make it a full day. Who wants day. to work on New Year's Eve? Yeah, seriously, man. You Thankfully, know. we have New Year's off, but Thank New you. Year's Eve, everyone feels like they're off anyway. They're right. just waiting for the evening. Right? Yeah, there's no doubt. So let's go over and we take a look at the uh, XAU, the HUI, uh, XAU... You know, rejected lower price. Now we need some juice underneath it. That's that's where this kind of is standing right now. It's kind of get away from these bottoms, man. You know, the uh, yeah. we're at uh, forty-five seventy-three. You know that that forty-two seventy-three. You know, it's been hanging out there for a long period of time. Now the gold bugs index is is it's still near the bottoms, but further away from the bottoms. You know, we're at one hundred twelve right now, and you're talking about a one hundred four to one hundred one bottom. And it, it, what we haven't seen yet um, is the differential between the HUI and the XAU, which I suspect uh, we'll see whether you get to higher price if in any of these gold companies start selling some gold off. Let's go to the RAND. We haven't looked at that for a bit. Look at the RAND. The RAND's still, the RAND's at 15 RAND dollars to one US dollar. It is interesting. I mean, look at that. That is like to a T a line. Isn't it? Right? How does that work? Right. Is that what well, well, Tom's looking at? Is that here, a trend line, and it, it's a perfect one too. It is. Without even the line there, you can see how each low is just symmetrical. Higher. It is. Yeah. yeah, it's a pretty amazing. So, so if we let's go take a look at uh, how many. Uh, that means the market thinks, regardless, of that finance minister. Yeah. That. And, and how many in South deal. Africa right. is up? Yeah. And HMY. Let's go take a look at it here. Well, look at that. That's building cost. It looks like it's, you know, you're at 92 cents. It looks like it's building cost to get a buck 20. I think this is February 4th. Yeah, February 4th, the numbers. But you know what? February 4th is going to be right around the corner, isn't it? My January God. 4th is the Monday that we come back from New Year's. So wow. it's literally, yeah, January 4th kicks us off for the New Year. How about that, right? That's right. 2016. Yeah, that's right. And we're going to surprise them kicking off in the New Year's, right? We'll have a few changes. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got a couple things coming up for you, folks. It's going to be a great year out here, no doubt. Uh, Walmart, let's go. Oh, let, I was looking at Amazon yesterday too, Tom. It just won't won't, won't back off. <laughs> and I gave more business last night. To do nice. Click, 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 click. Nice. Yeah. Hey, and folks, you know this is an ad for Amazon. It really isn't, <laughs> but you have today. Yep. Uh, to shop, to still get it uh, Thursday. Till midnight for Amazon Prime, where you can get your two-day delivery. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That blows my mind, man. Last night when I was shopping, uh, I was looking up and said, oh, I got a whole nother day, man. I know, right? Yeah. It is. That I mean, felt that's good. amazing that, yeah. And, and it goes even further that uh, I was thinking about how confident you are in their ability, right? Which right. says a lot because if you were ordering it from any other store or if you even walked into the post office like right. five years ago, right. um, two days before New Year's Eve and you said, I'm gonna send it two day, you know, seriously, you'd, you'd be worried and yeah. nobody even fears that. It's not even talked about. So that's just remarkable when you think about, I think um, it was either UPS or US Postal Service. I think it was UPS said they were gonna do 35 million packages today. 35 million. And just to be that, Reliable is, is. You know what I was more, more worried about? I was <laughs> getting a pair of sneak sneakers, and I was more worried about that I ordered the wrong size than getting to deliver it. <laughs> yeah, no, hey, because that, what happens? That matters too. It, it, well, well, you know what happens is that when you order on them, this happened to be a, a unisex type of deal, and then it says uh, women's one size, men's another size. I, okay. I kept looking. I said, I said, what does that mean? Okay. You know, but but that, that I wasn't worried about the delivery. I was okay. worried about that I hit the button and I okay. ordered the wrong size. Kind of fancy sneakers you order that are unisex? No, they're vans for okay. Olivia. Yeah, they're okay. just, the, yeah, gotcha. the, the, you gotcha. know. But and the way that they they went out is that it was the woman size first, so it was eight and a half woman, seven men. That's an important one, the woman or the man size. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Believe me, believe me, man. Unreal. <laughs> Seriously, man. Um, let's we go over to the uh, financials. We take a look at J.P. Morgan and. Uh, that still can't uh, catch a bid either. It's out, it's out of ties, but it still can't catch a bid. You know, these banks, so J.P. Morgan yesterday, uh, Friday they paid a $300 million fine. Um, yesterday they paid uh, about, let me see what it was, it was $120 million. I mean, it just blows my mind. It, it just, 
you know, it's never yeah, 150. Oh. I think I just saw. Oh yeah, 150. Court like the breasts. Uh, the court's gonna bless it. That's yeah. what they're gonna do. That's right. what the headline says. Right. They're gonna bless them. Yeah, this is the London Whale deal. Uh, yeah, 150. Okay, that's what I, I have been reading about. 150 that. million. Yeah. It's just it's it's what you know, a, what a business plan. I think what happens as well is that those numbers. The reason why you almost didn't remember them is because you know they're almost inconsequential to the company. So yeah. it does it doesn't even register just because you say well that'd be like you know you or I getting fined like fifteen dollars. I might not be able to remember what the exact amount was if I got fined fifteen dollars. Just like when you see J P Morgan find three hundred million, your brain just thinks well instantly it's almost dismissed because that's nothing to them. So it's not that big right. of a deal. Right. Because they take in 94 billion. I didn't even know the numbers, but of course, yeah. yeah. 94 billion. We're talking billion. about 100 billion dollars in revenue. Right. 300 million dollars. Yeah. 0.3 percent of their total revenue. It is pretty wild, man. <laughs> you know, there, there, there's no doubt, man. You can uh, do a lot with 100 billion dollars in revenue. You can, you can do a lot. And, and what, <laughs> what, what the banks have figured out, there's no doubt, that is just part of the overhead. You know, it's, uh, that's what I, I mean, yeah, yeah. there's, there's it's, it's, you know, the, you make expected value decisions in a lot of things in life. That's what I say. Oof. What's the expected value of, you know, and that's, that must've been one of those business courses you took. See that, that is, is. oh, well, of course. No. And that's, 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 that's the reason for punitive damages though, because yeah. when people make expected value decisions, right. that you do the bad thing. That's right. why you should get punished punitively so that the next person, right. when they say, oh, well, the cost reward analysis says this, and it's like, well, it does uh, until you get hit with a punitive, punitive damage. Right. Um, but so I wonder. That's what they probably. That's why they probably did put punitive damages in, huh? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah right. That because makes sense. Your harm. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's really to, to. They don't give it to the banks, though, man. The banks yeah, don't. They don't. Get, so the banks no, don't get their punitive. I mean, they damage. might say this punitive, but there's nothing punitive in that 300 million. As in no. punitive is supposed to, I think, um, change future behavior. As in, right. that's the 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 nature of a punitive damage is not for the damage caused, but to cause the person or the entity to think twice before that similar action or the next person out there. Wow. And I don't know what the punitive number would be on JP Morgan. Seriously, man. right? You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. And of course, don't forget, we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. And uh, with the, we, swim we, lessons at noon. Swim lessons, that's a beautiful thing. We get uh, Steve Rhodes. Uh, Dave's on vacation this week, and uh, I'll be Yourself back. And Andy Heck. And Andy Heck. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today.
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 40, Nasdaq's up four, S&Ps are up a buck and a half, and the housing numbers come out, and so existing home sales... Uh, sales of previously owned homes slumped in November to the lowest level since April uh, as a change in industry rules lengthened the amount of time it took buyers to close on a deal. Closing on existing homes, which usually takes a month or two after contract is signed, declined 10.5% to 4.7 million uh, after a revised 5.3. So what happened here, Tom, is that, the, and folks, is that um, the Todd uh, Dodd-Frank bill changed how the closes get done and how the paperwork gets done. And it's interesting because I've seen folks make a big deal of it, and it's not a big deal. Um, what it is is this, is that I know when you're getting a mortgage, I've gotten a mortgage. If you're dealing with um, the mortgage brokers that have everything electronically, right? Well, first off, they said that, hey, you have to do everything electronically. You know how you sign electronically? Yes, okay. Yes. So that's the first part. The second part is a little bit bigger, and this has to do with, like, when we're selling houses. So normally when we're selling houses, what ends up happening is you get an inspection period, and then the, let's say if I sell a house to you, you have so long to get an inspection period. If you come back and say, I need to fix this and this, I have so long to give you the, that it's fixed and the receipts. Okay, because it's a, if the Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, VA loan folks, they need to fix in the receipts. This is what the difference is. The difference is that I have to do that quicker now. Okay, within 10 days quicker, right? But if that gets done, the close gets done. And what the difference is, is that instead of you getting your paperwork the day before, you get your paperwork 10 days to 12 days before so you actually can read it. Yes. So it's actually really, it's really good, folks, for... I think it's really good for the people that are buying houses and the industry. You yeah. just have to know and what it, you're doing. And it wasn't even a day before. What would? And I don't fully yeah. understand it, but I know in one of the situations, what would happen is they would make changes at the t the signing, which is a problem. And of course, people yeah. could get manipulated very simply at the signing. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that you can't leave? You, you think you're going to buy a house? And say, oh, we're just going to change this. No, I've this. done we're, it. We're, we're I've, done, I've, done, I've done it. Say, I want the house. Right. No, we're going to initial it. off. We're going to check I, it off. All right, you're cool with an adjustable I, rate mortgage. They, All right, we're cool. Done. Check. Check. Right. No doubt. And no so doubt. now they need to have that, and maybe it's 10, 12, like you say. Right. I know it's multiple days right. ahead of the great. closing. Right. Yeah. I, I think it's you good, know? too. But you can see and how, especially what's probably going on is that as that kicks in, there's that one to two month 
delay, right, where everything is catching up. And there, then and then there'll be the flow again. There because is. Because there's that slight pause of whether it's a month or something that maybe well, you should people have seen couldn't. The last two and houses, people are getting used to it. It's just people running this. So they're, they're, they're agents. They're everybody getting used to that process. No, no doubt. Yeah. And the last two houses that we just sold, like I got another one closing next week, and we hustled, hustled man. I knew that I had a hustle because they, they give you the dates, though. They give you the dates. And it's not just having the stuff fixed. It's having to fix with the receipt. So no, that's that, good, because you know, it, it is so complicated. Having bought a house myself yep. a year and a half ago, went to college for finance, studied right. this stuff, might do a refinance right now, and it is still so tough to yeah. get a hold of where that money is going, who's getting a piece of the pie. You got it. You know, what cost Tell goes to what person, goes to what is negotiable, what is even... Those you know, closing documents are intense. They are. They and are. so I, you know... And I know that I've been fortunate to have some great education. And yeah. still, it is it baffles me on many of them. And, and I've tried to drill them down, look at it, and it's like, you know, I don't know, in many cases, if you got a, you know, another quote or something like that, where do you even begin to ask them well, with that quote? And I know, you know, APR, APY, so, so I have a full understanding oh, of no. the things that matter. Listen, but when you try and drill down the line items of things and yeah. what, what goes where, that's where it's just so complicated. So, so, so. And you know what's so crazy, folks? Picture it, you know, I mean, I'm in this business, okay? And even myself, um, you know, I have a VA loan, right? So, you know, you keep getting things, VA loans, I can get it cheaper. I'm saying to myself, man, they're going to put feeds in here somewhere. They're just not going to go give me, a, you know, you can go, to, you know, oh, isn't right. it funny? Sure. Man, not sure. real. Folks, you stay right there, man. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Uh, Kevin Hinks, Scott, Cindy, TD Ameritrade, uh, Steve Rhodes, myself, Andy Heck. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.